Hola guys and girls and welcome to the fifth week of the IPL. We are facing Nicotronics and his Munich Milotic. And uh, yeah, this is the team we have for him. We do have Choice Capture, Arcan, Close Combat, Stone Age, Earthquake and Toxic. Toxic is mainly there for the uh, Gold Dog, which is back to come because Telecron has no way to hit it. It's resistant to Stone Age, immune to Close Combat. Earthquake is like the strongest I have and then I'd rather Toxic against stuff like that. Then we do have Assault Vested for Toxic, Snow Alexis, Facade, Earthquake, Seed Bomb and Zen Head Bump. Seed Bomb there for Rapiria. Then headbutt there for stuff like the Venusaur and the Hitmon top, and then Earthquake just great for stuff like the Jirachi, Facade just main stab. Then we do have Bulk, Citrus Berry, Roger Mo, Relief Stone, Volt Switch, a little Steefog, pretty standard. Then we do have Physical Defense, Steel, Earthquake, Protect, Toxic, and Stab Frog. This is enough attack that I can 2 hit KO uh, Max HP Jirachi, even with leftovers. Uh, if the Jirachi is leftover, so that's why I have a little bit of attack here with my Earthquake. Then we have Dragon Dance, Heineken with Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Aqua Tail, Aqua Tail there as well for the Rapiria. Everything else we pretty hard with Dragon Claw and Earthquake. We sadly don't hit Rap uh, Rabobi that strong, but Aqua Tail is still pretty good as that. And then pretty much standard physical defensive aromatis with Moonblast Protect Vision and Aromatherapy. I make it rather quick because I did make my opponent wait a little bit here. So let's just attack this right away and hop into the match to bitch our opponent a good luck. Have fun! We do see Rapiria, Hitmontop, Venusaur, Rotomo, Jirachi, and the Incineroar. So we do see what it looks like. No Goldog though. Though, that, that's a pretty big surprise to not see Goldog, to be honest. That makes my Terrakion just that much better. Uh, I kind of have to predict always if I go for Close Combat to Stone Age, since he does have resist to Close Combat in, for example, his Venusaur. And for Stone Age, he has like 1, 2, 3 resists. I think Close Combat is most likely what I spend most of the time. But yeah, lead-wise, I do see Rachi. I see one of these three to lead. And I think what is pretty nice versus most of them is already my Rotom Mo. Which I will just lead with right away. If he leads with his uh, Rapiria, that's I can just leave some as well. Like I said, the scariest thing you could leave with for my Rotom is stuff like the Venusaur. Which I'm just gonna Wolf switch out of there since I'm faster than Max with Venusaur. And we do see Frucht Tiger the Incineroar. So the question is, is this thing Scarf or not? Um, it is kind of worrisome since I'm even I'm not a, the uh, thick fat on uh, Snorlax. I decide for immunity. Which I probably should have changed as well since I do have a therapy now on Romatis. Um, but yeah, I do not think that you'd be Scarf. There would be no sense that you are the Scarfer. So I'm actually just gonna Volt Switch out of here. And indeed, he's not Scarf, and that is only 70%. That's I smell an Assault Vest here. I do smell an Assault Vest here. Let's just go to the Calc real quick. And let's get the. What's called? Uh, Incineroar. Defensive Pivot. Maybe just Spidef. 16 to 19, if he would be like Spidef variant. I did 17. So he might just be Spidef. But let's just go to Robotis, our best pivot we can have. I expect a U-turn. But we do see a knockoff, which makes sense as well. 20% with a knockoff versus my Aromatis. Aromatis and the knockoff did 15. So no, he's he has attack investment. Otherwise he wouldn't do 20. So he, I, like I said, I do smell the assault vest. I will go for Wish right here. He will most likely go into Drachi. Or Venusaur, which makes sense as well. And with the Wish in the air, I have a pretty nice switch into Snorlax here. He could put me to sleep, which could be annoying, but Snorlax is a assault vest, he doesn't really care about anything. I am max, uh, max the thing in my jigger as well. Max attack. So I don't really know what you would switch in right here. I'm just gonna fire off a Zen headband and see what happens. And yeah, we hit that one pretty nice damage, so that's awesome. Get some recovery due to assault this, but once again, the Robotis is our switch in. And yeah, that did to the Hitmon top 59%. He's not intimidated, which is to note, so he might have the bullet punch. Gets a crit there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, let's see. Let's do. Let's do some cards first versus Hitmon top. Let's see. Uh, Hitmon top close combat because that crit. If that brings me now in, uh, in in bullet punch range. So if he's max attack adamant, he would be doing with a crit like 33%. So this is banded, right? Yes, we choice banded. Uh, do we see a choice ban? Let's see. If he add crit to that. Yeah, the only way he does with that much is if he's choice banded. With a crit, because if he's not, let's put it away again. Make him like choice scarf. He might be like he could be. Uh, uh, no, no, that's not way not enough. He needs to be choice banded. So let's get a wish right here in the air to get this uh, thing healed. Uh, I'm just gonna protect this time because I do want health on my Robotis. And I think I have a rather good switch. He goes to sleep powder there, which is fine with me. Uh, so the question right now is: Do we go back into Snorlax? Let it put, allow him to be put to sleep. Or do I go, for example, to Hexus, which has a Lumbar or Rotom, which would be immune to the to the sleep powder? If he goes for what, what what is Rotom here for mainly? Mm, it was kind of mainly that we switch into the Goldock, which is not here. It's a switch into Rotom as well, to be fair. 
Uh, I don't really like Snorix. Uh, let's go to Snorix. It's the safest bet we can do. Maybe he goes for Leech Deed again. He does go for Sludge Bomb this time. So yeah, not going to Rotom. Definitely the correct play there. And let's see. Last time we go for the Headbutt. And it might kill the Hitmon top this time. Because last time we did. Let's go to the Thing Majiga. He might still just uh, try to put us asleep, to be fair as well. But if he takes the Zen Headbutt here, he will either go into Incineroar or Jirachi. So I actually want to go for an Earthquake. And But he does go to Rotom. Okay. So that's a bit sad, of course. Uh, if he wants me, if he wants to burn me, that's fine. I have to do the facade. I'm just going to go straight for that. Uh, he misses the will wisp, so that means the facade does a little bit less damage. And that did 25, so this I'm going to assume physically defensive. Uh, now he knows so I have facade though, so he might not really want to burn me. Uh, let's see, Rotom. I, I'm assuming this is physically defensive. I'm very much assuming that this is physically defensive. Uh, Impish. Where's my facade? Yeah, 25 to 30. If he's max physically defensive, I got a lower roll there. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna facade again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would have done around 50 if I would have, that that worked out. But he doesn't really have a great switch into Snorax. He could go into his uh, Rhyperia, uh, which he does. I could have gone for the Seed Bomb there as well, but I don't want him to burn me again. I'm expecting rocks here. So honestly, I want to go for the Seed Bomb because the Seed Bomb was a Rhyperia will not KO him because Rhyperia is just that physically bulky. But it should be a 2 hit KO, uh, if he's like just make it be a little bit defense. So let's go for the Seed Bomb. Uh, does he's physically defensive, that did very little. That did very very little, that is max with death. That's max with death, Rhyperia. Uh, Impish. Yeah, if he is max fist death, I should do minimum 35. And yeah, so I got a lower rule there as well. But yeah, that had to be max fist death, let's go into Rotom now. Uh, we want to wish in Snorlax at some point again, so I do want to switch in into my Rotis at some point. And with Rotom in, we can defog as well, all these shenanigans. So I'm definitely fine going into that at the moment. But yeah, that did very little. That's max fist death, uh, uh, Rhyperia, which I did not expect to be honest. You already saw that he's max defense, uh, let's go to Fruchtiger here. Okay, interesting. So he doesn't have anything to hit my Faxa. I'm assuming I'm just gonna Wolf Switch out of there. We already know that we are faster. Uh, like I said, I will. I want to uh, go into Rotis and try to get a wish into my... He might flare bits as well here. No, it goes for U-turn. So he could go into his Venusaur here. Mm, so he's wearing down my Snorlax, which is kind of annoying. Let's go into Jirachi this time though. Uh, so I go hard to Steelix on Jirachi. Uh, scouting what he wants to do. Is he physical? Is he special? He seems to be physical. Uh, um, actually, that we don't know that yet. Let's get the Steelix Kalk out versus Jirachi. Uh, Jirachi, let's see if this 4% he did with his U-turn, that looks to be physically offensive because if he would not be, it would be like timid, then yeah, that would be very little. So I'm assuming he's physically yeah, offensive. Does go into Rotom, which just makes sense. Uh, that means we go into our own Rotom. Do we? Yeah, we do go into our own Rotom. I could protect here as well to kind of scout, but that gives him leftovers there as well. Does go for Volt Switch, so I could have uh, done some predicting there. Uh, let's go back into Fruchtiger and once again, I'm gonna Wolf Switch here. Get a crit this time, we are wearing this thing down as well. I just go back into Romatis again. He's just U-turning around currently, now he goes for the Flare Blitz, which does a ton of damage. Um, let's just protect right here. That doesn't really do anything, let's go for the Wish. Since we have to uh, say goodbye to Romatis, which is a bit sad. It's obviously this is our best switch in for the uh, Hidden Top, we just go for Earthquake there. But now this gives us an opening. So if he's so so far it's looking like Scarf Jirachi, because nothing else was Scarf so far. So Hector just needs actually two DDs to be able to deal with that. I could just go into Terrakion and kind of go with do I click close combat? Uh, he only has Venus over here switch in. Uh, so I have to go into Hexus or my uh, Terrakion here. And I think Hexus is probably the best I can do right now. Just kill this thing with an EQ. Not setting up yet because this Lumberry, this Rotom is set up fodder for me. So let's just play it safe. Don't set up yet. And uh, let's just go for EQ because Dranklaw. Dranklaw will kill him as well, but let's just go for EQ. We have the Mold Breaker, so we hit the Rotom as well. If he goes into. Like, Earthquake hits everything. If she goes hard into Drachi, that's uh, very interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna go back into Steelix. He probably expected me to DD right there. But let's go back into Steelix. Once we get a Rocks up, which I will definitely do right here. The Incineroar is not as big a problem more anymore. Uh, let's get the Stealth Rocks up, yeah. Uh, since it seems to be a Salt Vest and not the Boots. And I could stay in here and go for Toxic. 
I could stay in here and go for Toxicus, this thing. Hmm, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Let's just go into our backs again. He just defog the rocks away, which is fine. Which is fine with me. Uh, his leaves don't switch and is the Venusaur. I think... If he goes into Venusaur, I could just wall switch out again into our Snorlax. I could wall switch at this point right away. She might predict though. Yeah, let's just go for the wall switch. I'm most likely faster, but he just goes straight into Venusaur, which is already good news for us. It means we... If he go to Snorlax, he could sleep on us. But I think that's what we have to do at this point. Let's go into Snorlax. And we can of course scam with the Zen Headbutt, which I'm just going for once again here. Mm, yeah, let's go for Zen Headbutt. Which should do a good amount of damage. It definitely put this thing, yeah, nice. Gets this thing in range for basically anything. So now, he's either switching into his Incineroar or his Jirachi. I don't think he will have Protect because Zen Headbutt will kill him from here. So I'm very sure, I mean, he could go for Sleep Powder as well. Let's double into Rotom. Nice, this worked out in our favor very nicely. And I'm just two fighters for the storm. Last move is probably uh, um, Jigger, the synthesis on Venusaur. I'm just gonna leave some this time. Does go to Bloom Salad. Do get some uh, chip damage there. Does he know yet that I'm? No, he does not know yet that I'm not choice. So I'm not gonna, not gonna reveal that to him yet, just yet. And just uh, let's see. This setup fodder as well for my for my Hexress. This is good to know. I was gonna. Uh, no, I just will switch. I just said, talked about not wanting to show that, and I just showed it to him. Um, Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, uh, things. I think Steelix is just something I can switch into this thing. I guess he has Synthesis right now, which we go for. Just a Sleep Powder. Okay, now we at least we know that he can't Sleep Powder my other ones anymore. And knowing his set, I'm trying to wake up right here, burn one turn of sleep. No, he has Giga Drain, actually. He does have the Giga Drain. Interesting to know there. I don't need that much help on Steelix. I just need to be a switch into the, uh, the Drachi. There goes the Giga Drain, does very little. And I'm free to double again, to be honest, if I want to. Um, which I think I do want to. Or go for Zen Headbutt, because. Let's go for Zen Headbutt. He goes to Bomb, which will not kill me, and we get a good amount of damage on this Venusaur again. And yeah, that's what we have to do, wearing this thing down right now. Uh, let's see, Zen Headbutt did. Um, let's go back, let's go up. Uh, Zed Headbutt, how much did we do just now? 55. Let's, let's roll out the calculators. We have 55 with our Zen Headbutt versus Venusaur. Venusaur, Venusaur, Venusaur. Yeah, obviously he's not offensive, we know that much, but is he physically defensive? Uh, no, he's not. Is he just probably max HP then, I'm assuming? Uh, what are the other rolls we got? We got 55 with that one. Um, what are the others in headbutt rolls we got? So did we go one before on him? Or did we? Actually don't know. Either way, either way, I think now we're going to Hexress. I mean he can't put us to sleep. Best thing he can do is Slash Bomb us. I think we just have to go straight for the how much does Sludge Bomb do to us? I did make this switch a bit prematurely, but it is fine. Sludge Bomb from a... Let's just... It was Snorlax. Uh, Giga Drain did like how much was Snorlax? Let's get all the cards out. 70% uh, he did with Sludge Bomb. So he's definitely not offensive. Looks like... Oh, that's Life Up boosted. Uh, let's get the Life Up gone. So he could be max special attack, honestly, with the 70%. So he's definitely some kind of invested. Yeah, he has to be max special attack with that. So that means in our case that uh, our Hexress with Dragon Claw should be 46 to 544, so it's not a KO actually. And the Sludge Bomb will do 60 ish percent. So we go for one Dragon Dance here. Because once Ding Thing is gone, we can at least spam close combat with our uh, Sturdebecker here. And we're gonna go for one Dragon Dance. Okay, does go hard into Incineroar. Question is, do I just go for a second Dragon Dance right now on the worst thing that could be a knockoff? Because then I'm faster than Jirachi, which I think I'm gonna do. Let's go second Dragon Dance on his knockoff, which is fine with me. And yeah, we're just gonna Earthquake now. He does have Hitmon on top, which is kind of problematic right now, since he most likely will go into that. Will lock himself into Mark Punch, which we don't have great switch ins to. We don't have great switch ins to. That's going to Rotom, interesting. I'm definitely weak in you as well. 
I'm definitely weak in your... I don't know what you want to do. You could miss your will o -Wisp. I don't know. I Does he not have Mark Punch on his bandit hit on top? I'm pretty sure he has to, right? I'm definitely going for Earthquake again. I do have Mold Breaker. Uh, it shouldn't kill. Uh, I don't think it kills a uh, Rotom, which is his death, but it will do a button of damage and definitely bring him a range of close combat for my uh, for my th finger magicker. Plus one earthquake. Oh, plus one earthquake might actually. Oh, that's for offensive Rotom, not fizzy defensive, which it definitely is after the card we did. Yeah, that's like 81 to 95. So I'm definitely just going for earthquake here. Because after that he's for sure in range. He doubles out into Jirachi. Okay, so we do kill Jirachi there. Maybe he just notice his mistake and will now go into hit on top. I know what he predicted there. Okay, there's the hit on top. Yeah, exactly. That's what I expected he should do first. Now Steelix is not that useful anymore. I don't really need Steelix to be fair. Like keep this guy around, he's faster than everything, can still do good damage. And Steelix doesn't do anything barring stop bolts, which is maybe from Rotom. So I'm gonna switch on to you now. He bullet punches actually. He doesn't have mark punch, interesting. Um I'm just gonna try he's definitely he's banded, so he's gonna switch out. I don't know what he's going to switch into, but I'm going to double out and rotate him. Nice. So we get some momentum there. And yes, bullet punch. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's good to know for sure. Uh, Venus was most likely coming in. He doesn't have recovery, so I might want to... Uh, probably just Wolf, should Wolfsuch right here. He does stay in. Okay, that was my chance to... So he's going to Wolfsuch himself, so let's go into our Warsteiner here. Actually, Hydro Pumps. Okay, fair enough. Don't know exactly why he did that there but I'm going back into Rotom and he's going back into Venus all right I'm going to switch again yeah like I said I have to, I kind of have to do the place like this and then we go back into Hexeris now we have a Dragon Claw now we have looking at Dragon Claw here which I'm definitely going for because if this thing is gone like I said I can spam close combat with my with my Terrakion that's good I control which is okay Dragon won't do a lot, but we do have the Aqua Tail as well, which will do a good amount of damage to this thing. I could go into Rotom though as well. How much does Aqua Tail do? Because Seed Bomb didn't do a whole lot. Let's see how much the Aqua Tail would do to Rhyperia. He knows I only have Earthquake, so we might not think about uh, the Aqua Tail, which I could have. Aqua Tail, uh, that's still plus one, I'm obviously not plus one. Uh, ah, right, I Mold Breaker his thing away, so it's 60 to 70, so it will be a KO. Nice. So we do get rid of the Aquashrauber there with the Arctic Trail. He has to go back into the Hitmon top. And then it gets prediction again. Does he go for close combat or does he go for bullet punch? On my... Oh, I don't have the Steelix anymore. But I could still go into Rotom if he has bullet punch. Makes a very free switch in for me. A very, very free switch in for me. How much do I do with close combat to the... To the... To Venusaur? Let's actually get, to, get that Kalk out. Venus or just makes HP it seems. Close combat will do 30%, so we can just switch in one time. Stone Edge will kill him from this range, if I hit it, of course. If I hit it, of course. Like I said, the this switch, like the dub, double misprediction, letting my Steelix die versus the Rotom definitely did hurt a lot. For one, I mispredicted him with not going for Volt Switch, and the second thing I mispredicted is that he did actually go for uh, Hydro Pump versus my Rotom. If I would have gone for a Leaf Storm there, I would have been in a great position. But now the prediction begins. Does he go for Bullet Punch again on my Rotom switch in, or does he go for Close Combat this time? Uh, if I go into Rotom, he does go for Close Combat. I think he kills me. I think he kills me. Let's go hit him on top. Adamant, yes, Choice Bandit. Because my Rotom is not that bulky. Rotom, uh, Mo, Choice Band, Close Combat. Yeah, we'll do 90%. Will kill me for sure. Bullet Punch on the other hand would just do very little. Would do very, very little. Like 10%. So, it will obviously kill my Hexorus, I think. Bullet Punch. I mean, he has Technician, so it, it's boosted again. So, it would do mid at least 30%. It's so actually a roll to kill me if he goes for Bullet Punch. So, I think the best thing I can do right now is stay in. And either get the roll in my favor with Bullet Punch, which if you put Choice Band, but Technician in as well. Uh, that's 30 to 35. Oh, so guaranteed K. Never mind me. Did some wrong math there. So it's a 50 50. Question is if, I goes for, if he goes for close combat and I lose Rotom, what do I do? Uh, I go into Terrakion and then I kind of lose to this thing. Yeah, because then I have nothing which can. Uh, then he can just sweep with Bullet Punch. Because, oh, how much does Bullet Punch shoot to Terrakion? I assume that 
Okay, after after two CCs it will kill me. After one CC it won't. Actually, if I'm still at full health. So I can't really allow him to just bullet transfer him for the win. So that's like a very important 50-50 right here. Um Hextress I think is the best way I have to win at this moment. Because it is faster than everything. I could go into track if I let's go let, let's say it's sector recon actually here. Yeah. Sector recon see what locks himself into. I go into Rotom. Then I get to Volt Switch or slash burn slash something. And then how much does Rotom do to the to the tip on top? If it's just it's just a six max HP. This one actually won't kill him from this range. So it gets do I actually sector recon here? Dragon is fast, but my Hexion is faster than anything as well, so the Scarf on Dragon doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think I take Dragon here, I think it's the least useful member right now. Does he go for close combat? He does go for close combat. It's like the middle ground play there. Of course I could have gone for Petition as well. But now, since he's at minus one, I think Volt Switch kills him as well, right? No, Volt Switch actually won't kill him. Uh, so that's another thing. Do I just go for Volt Switch here or Leaf Storm? But he needs to thing around, because if he loses this, he, he doesn't lose necessarily to Dragon. If I least storm, so I got that protection. I mean, that was the middle ground play I was willing to do. I should just maybe I should have had the balls and stayed in. But now it's the question: Does he switch into Venusaur? I mean, I kind of. I, sh I don't think I, that. Like in retrospect, it was definitely a mistake there, because I kind of had to take the 50 Because now I just like let's say I will switch on his Venusaur switch in. I bring in Hexris. I kill the the Venusaur. It's just the same thing again. Does he go for Bull Punch or what? What does he go for? So I think what I have to do actually. Let's go for Volt Switch here on the Venusaur. Go into Hexorus, obviously. Uh, he has to sack it right now, I think. Or sack the sack the Rotom. One of the two. Yeah, because even if I go for Dragon Dance, it doesn't matter. So I Dragon Claw right here. Either killing the Venusaur or killing the Rotom with uh, Dragon Claw plus Earthquake. I think if he keeps Venusaur around, I think it's GG. Since my Rotom can't beat it. So, if I, so let's think about this again. What I just said, uh, he ha he has to sack Rotom, right? Like he has to sack one of them at least to bring Hitmon Top back again. If he sacks this, now he only has ro he goes after that into Hitmon Top, and then it's 50, 50 time again. Does he close combat, bullet punch, blah blah? Let's say I get it ro right and Rotom is in, then I can just leave stomped and pick up a KO. And if I get it right with Hexers, I just I can pick a KO. Yeah, he needs to keep. Uh, Venus alive, I get a KO every time I get into Rotom. So, in my opinion, he has to double into Rotom right here. He has to double into Rotom right here. Then he goes into Hitmon top. And then the 50 50 is there. Yeah, I, I double into Rotom here. Because he has to go to Rotom here. Because Rotom is the least useful ever right here. It, it loses. Like, it can't take one hit from Hexorus. Okay, I was fast either way. Okay, he didn't. He didn't do it. I don't know why he didn't do it, but now it's definitely GG. I don't know why I sack the, the Venus Swords here. After that I get a KO every time I click Leaf Storm. And I just have to click it twice. And I still have one more to sack. So I don't know why he did that play necessarily. Because even if I go for Dragon Dance on his switch in, he always has Bullet Punch on Hitmon top. So I don't know why he did that play. That made no sense in my opinion. But yeah, that's a GG. And yeah, sadly we do lose there. Uh, I have to, yeah, I have to keep it at that. Sadly we do lose here due to like, I think the, uh, the thing with Steelix, I don't really know why would he go for Hydro Pump versus my Rotom? Like, did he predict me to Wolf Switch and then go to Steelix? I don't know, but that really hurt. But yeah, in the end, I don't know why he stayed in there. I don't think that made any sense. But it worked out in the end. But second Rotom would have worked out as well. But yeah, let's end the video right there. Of course, leave a like, subscribe, you know the hit me on Twitter, Facebook, all the links in the description. Links to my opponent will be there as well if he does upload content. But that's all for me. I will see you another time. Ciao.